Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, mwah, mwah, kisses. My name is Rosie for short. And I'm making this video after many of you guys left comments on two of my most popular law of attraction videos. One is how to make your vision board and the other one is about how to attract people or things into your life. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to leave it in the description box. So this video is going to be about how to attract love into your life, how to attract someone. Other of you ask me, how can I get back my ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, whatever it is in your case. And I just want to start this video by saying that not everyone that comes into our life is meant to stay. I know it might be hard in the beginning. It happened to me. There were many times when I liked someone and I never understood why wouldn't they lay their eyes on me. I like them. It might be hard in the beginning. Just keep in mind that we should have people in our lives that will value our time and that will listen to us. I'm going to share three simple steps that you can take to attract someone into your life. Okay, step number one, and this is to make a list. So in this list, you are going to add everything that you want in this person and make a list of a hundred things. So I know it might seem like a lot, but believe me, once you start making that list, a hundred things will seem that it's not enough. So if you haven't done the list, let me give you some examples. These were some of the things that I added to my list. In this list, you can put things like physical. What do you want them to look like? It could be their personality or their lifestyle. So one of the things that I remember making in that list, I never limited myself to saying, I want this person to have blue eyes or I want that person to have blonde hair. I really didn't want to limit myself in that area because I had seen plenty of cute guys with dark hair, blonde hair, dark eyes. So for me, it was not important, but if it's something that you wanna add, then go ahead, you can add it. This does not have any rules, just have fun with it. One of the things that I did one physical in my boyfriend was I remember that I asked I want my boyfriend to have perfect skin I don't want them to have acne and that's because I have acne <laughs> um another thing physical that I wanted in that guy is I want that guy to have perfect vision because I depend on glasses and eye contact so I didn't want my partner to be the same another thing that I remember I want my guy to be taller so that when I wear heels, we don't look the same height. <laughs> he will still look taller than me. So those were some of the physical things that I wanted in a partner. As far as personality, I wanted this guy to be patient. I tend to do things quick, like I want things done so fast. And so I wanted this in someone and guess what? My current boyfriend is like that. So I think we have a perfect balance in that area. Another thing that I wanted in his personality was for him to be funny. I'm not funny, so he is. And I think that's a great balance too. He makes us laugh all the time. And I really like that about him. As far as lifestyle, I remember adding to that list. I want this person to be responsible, someone that has a job that has a car and is already living by himself because I was in that situation. So I wanted us both to be on the same level. And yes, when I met him, he already had these things that I wanted in someone and I really liked that about him. So these are some of the things that you can add just to give you some ideas on what I added. So go ahead and make that list of a hundred things okay step number two this is the part where you get to be creative and imagine and at the same time have fun with it so this is the part where you will have to take action you have to think 
and believe that this person is already part of your life. So some of the things that I did, I had a box where I would put stuff as if I was going to give it to him. So when it was Valentine's Day, I would actually go to the store and buy a Valentine's card. I would put the date, put dear love, for example, something generic. And then in the message, then I would put anything sweet that I would actually say to someone as if I had a boyfriend already and I would sign it. And so in that little box, I kept accumulating things. So another thing that I would do if I went to the store and I saw something cute that I liked, then I would put it in that box. And I remember buying a picture frame and thinking this is where our picture is going to go. And nowadays, we have that picture with the picture of us. And if you guys have an iPhone, then you know there's an option to record voice, voice messages. So that's what I did. I would record myself in the morning and say, hi, good morning, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. And I would do the same. And I still have some of those messages. Siempre que me acuerdo de ti, te quiero dejar un mensaje. Y hoy te quiero desear un lindo día. Y donde quiera que estés, que la estés pasando muy, muy bien. Hola, ya sé que es muy tarde, pero te quería desear unas buenas noches. Nos vemos. Hola, mi príncipe. Te mando saludos donde quiera que estés en el mundo. Besitos y abrazos. Bye. Other things that I've seen other people do is that at the time when you are going to serve dinner, Prepare two plates, one for you and one for the other person as if you are going to eat together. Or in your bedroom, depending on where you put your clothes, whether in a closet or a drawer, just make space for their belongings. So if you have the closet, half of the closet with your things and then the other half of the closet empty as if telling the universe, I am ready for this person. I am making enough room to welcome this person into my life. So those are some of the things that you can do to take action. Just have fun with it. Be creative. These are some examples and you can come up with your own. And step number three, this is the part where you have to wait and receive. This is where you cannot be asking, how am I going to meet this person? When is it going to happen? Because that means you are telling the universe that you don't trust. And this was the big mistake that I made. I was single for so many years and it's because I was desperate to have a boyfriend. I was ready to have a boyfriend. I kept asking how, when I'm doing all these things and I still don't have a boyfriend. The minute that I started to enjoy being single, when I least expected it, that's when I met my boyfriend. And the perfect example is when you go to eat and when you ask the server which food you're going to eat, you know that it will come to you. You wait and you don't keep asking, when is it going to come? And that's the same way that you can talk to the universe. Don't keep asking the how or when, just know that it will come to you in the perfect timing. So those were the three steps. Just take action, believe that that person is already in your life and soon enough you will attract the right person into your life, the person that is meant to be with you, the person that will value your time, that will love you and make you feel like the most special person in the world. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys in the next video. Kisses, bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>